Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is just a short video showing you how you can make the lantern section of the light blade strike on any difficulty a much easier affair. So when you load into the strike, you're going to want to turn around and go back 180 degrees, go back until you get fluorescent canal, it means you've loaded into a public area, you can now get a spiral. Bring the spiral back to the combat area, park it roughly where I have so it's in complete cover, and then just go about the strike as normal. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you take all the ads or you just take the champions or you just take the boss and get past this area. All the ads will despawn once you get into combat in this room. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure all the ads are cleared here. You always, after you kill the two disciples, if they're the last enemies you've got up or whether it's the, the light bearer, you'll always have kind of one or two acolytes left. Clear them, make sure this room's completely clear, and now you can go back to the first area, add free, and go and get your spiral. Once you get your spiral, you're going to move forward to where the two champions are in the next combat area, where you uh, first get your tomb ship. Now, I'm letting this part play out a little bit, just so you can see there's no creative editing. I've actually put this in a run. I've done my themed nightfall for this week, my dead using only Destiny 1 weapons on the Master Nightfall. You can see me use this strategy in that run, so you can see how it fits in completely within that run. So what you're going to do, now you've got your spiral, you're going to spiral forward to the section just before the two champions. Now, any drops that you have, like this drop here, make sure you do a little lateral boost by clicking one of the thumbsticks. The thumbstick, whichever side you click, will be the way you dodge. You click the left one, you'll dodge to the left. Once you've cleared the ads up here, the, the two acolytes and the two champions, uh, you'll come back, you'll get your spiral, and you will park it on the tomb ship. Now, important piece of information. When you park it on the tomb ship, you'll be heading towards the shrieker. Kill the shrieker, kill the acolyte left and right that's th that is standing at the terminals where you're going to dunk the orb and then get off the tomb ship as quickly as possible. So the ads, the two, two, listen, the two uh, light bearer knights and the ads don't start trying to shoot you and inadvertently shoot, shoot the, the, the spiral. The sp then once you've done that, you'll get back on the tomb ship. Your spiral will still be there. You'll get to this section. As you can see, the spiral is still there. Now, this is where we're going to finish it. So if you get on your spiral here, you have to keep the spiral moving forward a little bit because the spiral's not meant to be on here, so it will the game will see it as it's sitting stationary, but the tomb ship's moving, so you'll just slide off the back or hit, go towards the back. Once it's stopped, go off the edge, and remember, any drops you want to do a lateral boost, so click one of the thumbsticks just before you land. Hey, presto. You can now spiral right through here. You will not be affected by weight of darkness and the lucent moths will not attack. Very simple way to get through this. And as you can see, it doesn't take that much setup. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope this helps you guys on Grandmaster, whatever you're doing, Master. If you do enjoy this video, leave a like so I know to make more of them. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.